Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Right now, I am trying to remember how to set OBS to have the side by side view. Don't remember how to change that. Uh, scene transitions. No, that's not it. <clears throat> yeah, I don't remember. Oh, well. I'll figure it out later. Here's the scene. Okay, hey everybody, I'm Miggy Ferrer Rusher. Um, from San Diego, California. Today we are reviewing all the work we've done with CDC and Daz Rasmataz. So Daz Rasmataz basically is what we were doing in the last hangout, which was the taunt animation. So I'm gonna open that up and figure out what what the what the deal was. Okay, so I put this transition here so that while I figure things out I don't have to be showing everything. Okay, does Rasmataz. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, here's the Daz Rasmataz folder directory. So we got This 
with PowerShell. Like Sigma Animation Fixer is the script I downloaded from that guy's page. So I got the taunt animation pose preset for Genesis 2 Mail. I got the Genesis 8 for Mixmo. Presuppose. Yeah, so <clears throat> what we want to do is basically open GitHub Desktop. This is Daz Razmataz, the network. So Taunt is behind them. Oh, but this means that it was merged, right? Merge pull request for Taunt. Yeah, so main has the Taunt animation right now. So let's see, in main, I want like a bigger traffic anal a bigger network graphic network graph analyzer. Does this one have? View branches list. No. So I think ideally you want to open man one. So man one will have the different taunt animations. Oh, PSD. I want to open the, the DAS file. Oh, I still haven't had any sips of my coffee. Oh, that's bitter. Okay, so here's um, man one. Man one does have an animation, so that's cool. So let's see, I wanna bring a punch in to
Okay. Oh no, wait, hold on. Login. So my character from last time is still imported into Mixamo, which is kind of neat. So what we want to do is I want to do, I got the taunting animation. Um, and so the project I want to work on today is carrying an object, moving around with the object by putting, attaching the object to a socket and then uh, importing that animation into Unreal. Uh, so hold on one second. I'm going to try to get more organized when I do the stream. So just kind of bear with me. Okay guys, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna um, we're going to use a Mixamo pick up animation. We're going to Apply this animation to the Genesis 8 character. Um, man 1 will have two animations, uh, taunt and pickup. Okay, and then we're going to say uh, import man one into Unreal. Uh, we need to check if taunt and, and then, I'm sorry, taunt and pick up animations work. And then we're going to uh, bind to be able to um, pick up an object if character button press. Mm -hmm. 
So this, I, I know that there's something relating to the uh, Unreal character socket or something. It's called a socket. And then um, I guess bind object to socket. There's walk around with the object. So this means apply uh, transforms of parent to the object. All right, so that's just a little bit of math, some, some programming and stuff. Uh, hold on one second. I need to change the settings. Simple my preferences. So I don't like that. It word wraps. Don't word wrap. Yeah, don't check for that. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. I haven't messed too much with the images in Simple Mind. Enable snap options. No. So apply the transforms to from a parent to the object. Oops, apparently I can't spell from. <laughs> uh, more coffee. Uh, is the chat working? I haven't checked it. Hello, chat. Yeah, it's working. Chat's working. How's it going? So there's supposed to be a, uh, okay, well, hold on, let's make another scene here. This is, uh, Okay, the be right back screen. Um, yeah, hang on. And then webcam. I need a different webcam.
Okay. I'm not sure what's best. You guys can see the microphone there. Uh, I guess this is good enough, right? There we go. So now you guys can see my face. How about that? <laughs> I reserve myself the right to turn it off whenever I want. Yeah, so, I mean, the stream is so different when you can see yourself. <laughs> so if I turn the eyeball off, it's gone. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so... Walk around with the object, and then we got a... Uh, Drop the object at a different, different location. So this would mean like uh, applying new world space coordinates to the to the object I'm trying to get too fancy every time something gets too fancy it's always to, it's always wise to remember to not get fancy um, Applying new world space coordinates to the object. So yeah, that's basically our plan. This is what we're going to try to do today. So. I like basically applying. I don't like a rigid template with this mind, simple mind app, but, uh, what I like to do is I'll I'll do what I just did, right? Like I'll, I'll brainstorm a bunch of stuff. Um, there's this like uh, light bulb button here. And this button's cool because you can just add like random nodes, right? Like for example, Mixamo pickup animation, uh, which pickup animation, for example, right? Which Um, apply this animation to the G8. Okay, so um, what steps, what are the steps I need to do here? All right, maybe I can use this as an opportunity to document. Um, man will have two animations, taunt and pickup. Is it possible to have two animations in one DAS file? I mean, my instinct says yes, but I still need to like, confirm it. So import man one to the real engine. Uh, are we going to use um, 
does to Unreal Bridge. I mean, I think so. Uh, check if taunt and animation. So this is basically uh, how do I um, test check And bind animations to a button press. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, I've done this before. I did this with the. I did this with the um, top-down shooter demo. So I just need to review what I did. Right, so then I have, so I went down this whole train of thought and then I added the more details. So now I can just, for example, apply this, this to that, right? And then I can apply this to this, and this to this, and this to this, uh, and this to this, and this to this. Right, and so now it's like, I mean, you can organize it however you want, but at least now I have sort of like a, a sequence of events. Um, then there's also this whole uh, other area here. Like this is nice when you're, when you've got like a larger tree, larger mind map, these things are called mind maps. So the mind map will help you organize your thoughts and sequence them in a logical way so that you can execute on your plan, right? There's a lot of features to this uh, application that I feel are just like a little bit overkill, but but it's always nice to have more animations than others. Like for example, there's this note panel here, and I guess here you could like write like notes, right? Like this is a note. What do we got here? What kind of styling stuff do we have? Check spelling complete. Okay, good thing we can check our fucking spelling. We can bold that. We got the typical thing. Was this a strike through? Uh, uh, me, no. Ike. Okay, strike through. And then there's like, for some reason, there's like a superscript and subscript, which is hilarious. Font size, okay, so then that's that's kind of what I would like to have. Font size, 24, boom. Oh, the whole note goes to that size. Okay. Well, um, yeah, so see, that feature is kind of useless. Like, honestly, there's no way of exporting this. Um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure. There's, like, icons you can add to different things, so that's kind of neat if you're, like, into... You can organize like you could do oh, step one, step two, step three, step four. Uh, when I'm at work, I like putting little dumpster fires. <laughs> I like this one. Dumpster fire. Uh, or like a blocker object, I guess. A sword. There's a lot of like cool icons. The medicine, it's like, oh, take your medicine. Social media, like whatever's internet. Oh, look, there's ma magician hats. It's kind of interesting. I think emojis are kind of like an interesting language. Ugh. Yeah, I think emojis are an interesting language because um, we still haven't really agreed upon what these symbols mean. And I mean, there's a few that have been sort of um, established what to mean, what they mean, 
right? Like, oops. Is everything still working? I closed the lid of my laptop. So yeah, hey everybody, thanks for checking out my stream and thanks for hanging out. Uh, I've been a little bit like tired this morning. <sighs> Gotta remember to breathe. so easy to forget how to breathe right so then this application also has like different themes like this one it's a little bit i mean it's cool because it's you know what it is really cool i like this yeah that's some new ones this one is like the classic one i like i call these spider web diagrams because they, they get really very really spider webby they look cool this one is like you know, good for kind of like algorithms and stuff. The white squares, I think that's the default one. The, and then there's always the rainbow ones kind of, is also neat. Rainbow, but more pastel. This is like rainbow, but branches. So it's like a rainbow spider web. It looks cool too. This one's pretty cool though, I like it. And there's always the ability to make your own themes. I have like played around with making my own theme, but like for example here you can switch things and modify properties and stuff. Uh, slides, yeah this is, um, Oh, wow. Okay, I get it. So I've never used this slideshow thing, but this is kind of interesting. Check this out. Oh my god, you guys are going to love this. So it's basically, you click here. Uh, so for example, we say retake slide, and then we're going to click on this one and say add new slide. And then click on this one and say add new slide. Click on this one, say add new slide. Click on this one, say add new slide, right? And then then once you got that going, you say start slideshow, and it's like, hey, pick up on real feature. Uh, oh, and then there's... Oh my God, that's hilarious. This is awesome. I'm gonna use this at work, actually. So can I, select all topics and do a slideshow? Yes, I can, holy shit, look at this guys. Uh, but why does the slideshow have to be so big? Options. Yes, animated scrolling would be cool. Whatever. So this is an export button, I guess. So I can export this as a zip. Okay. Image resolution uh, high. Okay, so then There it is.
You know, I don't like this new Windows 11 menu. Okay, so then here's the slides. And then you can use these for... Uh, wow, this is pretty badass, actually. I'm going to use this at work. This is so cool. I love it. I love that I just actually just kind of spent the time using this with you. So yeah, Simple Mind. It's a great little application. Um, holy fuck. Yeah, I totally sidetracked on what we were supposed to be doing here, but yeah, this is a lot of fun. <laughs> So I wonder what the uh, animation would look like if I changed the theme, right? So if I go back to, no, well, not the, uh, it's the theme. So if I go back to, say, rainbow theme, will the slides change? Or, for example, select all topics and do a new slide. So now they have the new theme. So, okay, I get it. I get how this works. Uh, select all relations no okay so that for example shift click selects a branch and if i do a screenshot then it's just that just that one uh, it doesn't let me look at it until i do the Oh, but the whole thing changed. Did you know okay, wow. Okay, I mean, that's a pretty cool feature. I like it. <laughs> this wallpaper is the best. Holy cow. Well, clearly I've been procrastinating instead of... Okay, so okay, so the Mixamo pickup animation. Let's let's get to that. Let's get back to work. So let's see. Um, I got this screen. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Okay, yeah, I'm back. Um, ah. That's cool. I like this. Keeps you focused on what you're supposed to be doing, right? lock out of focus on the selected branch. So yeah. So this is what we're going to be working on, the pickup animation. So now let me think about this. Do I need to create a, a branch for pickup? Git? Uh, maybe. So let's see. Let's go to Git. Um, this is Miggy as Rasmataz uh, branches. 
So this taunt one is merged. So we're going to make a new branch and call this guy uh, pickup. Right? It's going to branch off a of main. And we're going to create it. Okay. So the new branch has been created. Next step is to go to Git, uh, GitHub desktop, and we got to do a, um, a pull, repository pull. So that'll, that'll update my local repo. There's an updated version. So what I don't like is not having like a command line, which gives me like uh, opening command prompt. Uh, yeah, that, that, so I mean, I could always do like git pull in the command line, which it would be like my favorite. Git status. So what I want, want to do is uh, say uh, git check out a pickup, right? So now I'm in the pickup branch. So you could see that this thing updated. So now that's what we want. We want to basically create all these changes to the pickup branch uh, so that we'll have a taunt branch and we got a pickup branch. And so at some point, maybe I could just cherry pick those branches into a new branch, into a new project. Something like that. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to think about that later. Like, see how to do that because um, what I want to figure out. I know that the real. Let's see. Let me just kind of have some fun here a little bit. Oh, by the way, this is the back to work. Okay, so gotta remember to. Well, I want to make a scene that says, let's have some fun. And that way I could just fuck around here. And when I've, whenever I late edit the videos later, they will, uh, it will be a little bit easier on me. So I wanted to hire somebody from Fiverr to edit my videos, but man, they're like expensive. It was going to cost me like $2,000 for a video that's 14 hours long. They want like $300 for two hours worth of work, two, two hours worth of video content. So I thought that was a little bit expensive. Seeing how I could do it for myself for free, just give me some patience, uh, give me some time. Uh, oh, stretch time. Oh, I got a little bit of... Office yoga. <sighs> yeah, so uh, like I was saying, we got the new. Okay, so we'll do the back to work. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to put a little animation here of some fighters. Just give me some time. Give me some time. All right, so we got the, we got the, the new pickup branch. We updated our Git to be on the pickup branch. So now we can start doing some work. So let's go to Mixamo and let's find the pickup animation. All right, so here's a couple of picking up animations. Uh, picking up some fruit. I'm not seeing him animate. we go so that's picking up something that's up in the air what about this I mean that would be down with like the first 69 frames
Like it would be cool to just sort of grab these first frames and then maybe, maybe I could do it like in DAS Studio, like clip out these uh, extra, extra. So it'd be cool to just sort of grab some, come down and then whoop, come back up real quick. So that's what I would like. There we go, I got to it in time. Uh, this one, let's see. I mean, that one is okay. I don't know why he swings like that. Lifting. Legal knee. That's awesome. Sword and sword and shield pack. This is a big animation, so it'll. Oh yeah, I forgot that. He just kind of like walks out into the distance. So yeah, that's a pretty long animation, 2,000 frames long. It would be cool to like chop it up and, and use it effectively, like maybe make a video of how to process this animation and use it in a video game. I could do that later if there's like some interest. So for now, I think the best one would be this one, the lifting one. And maybe just sort of like grab this animation from here to like to here. <coughs> Sorry, I couldn't make it in time this time. Well, let me wash my hands. <coughs> Shit, couldn't make it in time again.
Hello, everybody. I'm back. Wash my hands. <sighs> okay, so where were we? Oh, yeah. Back to work. Bum, bum, bum. Let's get back to work. So, yeah, let's just grab this animation just the way it is. Uh, so, I guess I download it. Okay, yeah, so... Did we have to download a different version of FBX? Fuck, I don't remember. Um, I think I just used the, the one I have. So we download this pickup animation. Lifting animation, sorry. But, um... I'm going to rename it to pick up downloads. Uh, pick up. Okay. So, so I guess here the deal is we got a, This one, I guess we can create a new one, right? So change, no, don't save the, don't don't save any changes. We want to get the uh, import the. So we want like a. Yeah, this stuff is like you gotta practice it. It's there's so many steps to it, right? To to getting this right, so. Let's see if I remember correctly. Um, you need to grab a figure that's like uh, Genesis 8, I think. So you grab the Genesis 8 dev, dev load. That's fine. You have that guy in here, and then you bring in your pickup animation. So there's the pickup animation, right? So then... <laughs> I literally don't remember, holy cow. Um, so there's the animation, and then I think we save this as a pose preset. Content library, my pose presets. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Like, we save... Okay, so I think I'm remembering. Back to work! Yeah, I think what we do is we, we come to the post presets uh, folder, and we save... We select the... I think we hide the Genesis 8. We select the Genesis 2 mail, which has our... Um, Or pick up animation, right? Uh, <laughs> there we go. At least he's not naked on camera. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, we <laughs> back to work. Yeah, so we grab the Genesis 8 mail, whatever, reset the view. Uh, we basically click on this plus button here. 
we want a pose preset. Pose preset, right? So we save it as uh, G to mail pick up pose preset. Right, and so there's the little thing. Uh, don't compress the file. Done. So we save that. And then I think what we do is we hide this guy. Oops. Um, in a group real quick. Hide them. And we grab the Genesis 8 mail. We apply the Genesis 2 mail pickup animation, right? Yes. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Don't do it yet. We gotta go to the first frame. Oh, no. Okay. Can I do that? Yeah, okay, cool. Gotta go to frame zero. Remember to be in frame zero, okay? Go to frame zero. Hide the... Okay, so undo and a little crazy, but let's... And then did my group. So redo the group. Hide Genesis 2, select Genesis 8, and then do the pickup, right? And so there's this window here that pops up here on the side. It's like, would you like to blah, blah, blah. So I always say turn off. I feel inclined to remember the preference, but maybe there might be an occasion where I need to actually keep them on. So I honestly haven't crossed that bridge yet. So here there's like a little bit of that going on. And so I think the next part of this was to uh, select the Genesis 8 mail and then use the animation fixer. Uh, yeah, I think it did it. Yeah, so I think uh, I think we got it down. We got the we got the process down because now, um, well, now I can put this guy in another group, right? Group two. In fact, this one is group uh, uh, G eight. So that's all we care about. Uh, so then. No, I'm clicking on the wrong place. I want to click on this. So Genesis 2 over here. And Genesis 1. I'm sorry. Genesis 2 is this guy. And then Genesis 8 is this guy. Right? So yeah, now they both should be like identical. So that's pretty great. I mean, that's that's basically what we want, right? So then we can hide the Genesis 2, go to frame 1. Uh, I think we can ungroup Genesis 8 mail. There we go, like that. Uh, I think we can basically delete everything. Select the Genesis 8 mail, and then up here, in the in our content library, we click on the plus button, and then we want to save a new pose preset, and this one will be pose preset G eight male pickup. Done. 
done. So now we have the two animations we wanted, right? Um, I could save this project. I mean, it doesn't hurt. So this would be G8 Yeah, it would be basically like this, but so there we go. We got we got the, the the pickup animation saved as well. So there we go. And now my Git obviously will have some changes here. We're saving the diff the Duff project. Um, yeah, I think it's interesting. I did all these post presets, but I didn't really. Yeah, I guess these post presets don't get committed to the repo, but this actual file does. So that's what's important. Um, so yeah, we're in pickup branch. So then this is a pickup. And the nation. Um, I've applied the pick up and the nation to a G8. Ready to go. There's two apostrophes here. We want to push this. All right, so let's go back to our thing here. So we got the pick Mixamo animation. We got the Mixamo animation. We applied it to the GA. Uh, man one will have two animations, taunt and pickup. Uh, so I don't know if this is like absolutely critical to do right now. Uh, let's see, there's gotta be like a, like a question mark. Yeah, there we go, question mark. Yeah, import the man into a reel. So this one. So what are the steps I need to do here? The steps are um, download. The... So we need to have um, if the G2 um, model is in Mixamo, then grab yeah, the G2 the G2 for Mixamo, I think I called it Yeah, it's if okay, right? So if the G two M A pose model is loaded in Mixamo, then continue. Uh, choose uh, choose your favorite animation. And then after that, it's um, import into Daz Studio. Um, 
then it's uh, add a G. We don't have to change that. It could be import into DAS Studio of uh, pre save imported animation as a G2 pose preset. I mean, it doesn't really meet, save as a post preset, right? And then it's load, uh, not load, but add a uh, default G8 figure to the scene. Um, apply the So I guess I do save as a G2 post preset. Yeah, because it's just a basic post preset, but I'm putting G2 because it's coming from a G2. So we'll just call it G2, right? So G2 post preset. And then add the default G8 figure to the scene. Apply the Apply the G2 post preset to G8 figure. And then the script is called then, um, uh, execute the Execute the animation fixer script on the G8 figure. And then um, yeah, just uh, check that uh, G2 and G8 animations uh, match. Basically, and you're done. I mean, theoretically, you could uh, let me create a new mind map. So theoretically, So theoretically, uh, we could export this DAS figure as FBX. Um, We could use the DAS to Unreal Bridge. We could um, so these are both like exporting, I guess. We could um, add clothing to figure. So that would be kind of neat. Uh, we can combine multiple animations into one file. So this sounds useful because I could combine multiple animations into one file, then export them. Right. Um, 
so yeah. So we're gonna try to So this is kind of cool about this tool, like even though they're not like connected as actual in an actual tree structure, like this is its own unique structure, as you would see here in the outline. Next steps is at the same level as root. So it's a completely different root. It's a disconnected root from this root, right? Because this guy has like literally no path to get to this guy. Other than um this um, link I created, right? So this is like a, they just call it a link here, but it is a, it is dotted because it's not a direct link. Like as far as a branch goes, it's not a branch of a, of a node in the mind map tool. This is just a link that you're saying there's a logical uh, relation between this branch or this cluster of nodes this cluster of nodes. And so this tool becomes really powerful because you can do like just really cool stuff. I mean, children seems cool. It keeps you focused, right? Like going from one step to the next. But I don't like that I can't see anything. So yeah, maybe I'll just focus on selection. Focus disabled, there we go. Yeah, this is one hell of a, one hell of a tree. But yeah, that was just for documenting this. Right, they're they're like that because they're locked into a theme, right? I can move this back to the free form. Okay. And then this one I can do something like this. Um, like list layout. Left right. Oop. And uh, I'll just move this guy to the side like that. Oh, no. So what we want to do is basically I mean, what's cool is that I can just disconnect this node here and maybe give this a logical link to that, right? So now it's connected, but I can still see if I hide. Now I can, you know, so that's, that's pretty neat. Okay, so I guess we do have to look into this. Let's look into this then. Green light it. <laughs> you can have so much fun with these icons. Okay. 
Okay, so man one will have two animations, taunt and pick up. So I'm wondering if I can... Okay, hold on. Let's... Back to work! Bum, bum, bum! Yeah, so... Like I was saying here... Like I was saying here, it would be good to combine both animations into one file so that the man one file will have the pickup animation and the taunt animation or the taunt animation and the pickup animation because they're already in both, right? So I want to go to Git. I can close everything to the right. I think I need to create a pull request. Okay, so yeah, let's create a pull request. Create the pull request, boom, right? So review required. Since I am like the main, main dude, I can merge without waiting for requirements. I am the boss. <laughs> I oh god, I do what I want. Close with comment. So yeah, close with comment. Boom. Oh, what? Reopen the pull request. Oh, okay, I see. So let me explain a little bit what I did there. Um, I guess closing the pull request means that I'm canceling my request to merge with the master branch. So yeah, I want to squash and merge, rebase and merge. So yeah, I want to create a merge commit. And then, uh, okay, so yeah. Add pickup um, das file and then comment. Right. And so did it work? Is it merged? Yeah, unmerged commits. So, um, merge is blocking, review required. So I want to merge this without waiting and then just merge it. Yeah. Oh, so I had to click on that one. Okay, so. Well. Done. So now it is merged. All right, so if I go here to my insights, network graph, I will see that um, it's too bad that I can't make this a little bit bigger. But I guess this will do. See the top branch was merged to the master branch and then out of the master branch uh, the pickup. But this is just the files, right? This is a taunt DAS file. This is a pickup DAS file. So now I'm going to do, um, basically going to update man one to have both animations. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, so we're going to create a new branch. Uh, all right, we're going to go here to branches. We're going to create a new branch and we're going to call this one uh, two animations, two and two animations for now, right? I mean, that sounds reasonable, whatever. So there we go. Two animations branch is created. So I come to get, I do a pull and then you know what? I'm, I'm settling on doing this with command line. Get pull. 
here's my new branch. So now I do git checkout two animations. Oops. I forgot that Windows doesn't work like Linux. Git checkout. Gotta hit enter and then you can paste it. So now I'm in branch two animations. Git status. All right, so the branches two animations. This guy should change the two animations. All right, cool. So we're going to open up uh, man one pose. We're gonna open man one, yeah. So man one, oops, cancel. We wanna go to Daz Razzmatazz and open man one. So there's man one. Uh, man one doesn't have any animations, right? So I think what I wanna do is go to frame one, right? And then I'm going to say import pickup. Right? So there's pickup. So I'm going to go to the very end. And then I want to I want to add one frame. How do I do that? Yeah, so I want to add another frame. So I'll do 218 frames, right? And then in, two, in frame two, 218, I want to import the, uh, so I did pick up first, so then taunt will be second, right? So, so what I've done here is, I just don't understand if I did it right. What's happening? It seems like it imported both animations. Okay, let's try this again. Um, open. No, don't save changes. Let's reopen man one. Right now we can put the viewer here. We're not doing anything crazy. Timeline, frame zero. So yeah, what the hell? Um, like, let's see, let's, let's do a test. I'm in frame five. I want to import taunt. Accept. So taunt So this is group man one. All right, so let's hide them. Um, 
Yeah, so think this is how you would do it. You would basically say import import animation. So this one will be uh, no. This one is taunt, right? Okay, cool. So there's that. It's a total of 85 frames. Total of 86 frames. So let's add the one frame, 87, right? And uh, then we import pickup, right? So pickup also gets loaded into frame zero. Um, so this is group taunt. Yeah, this is group pickup. So what we want to do here is basically, we know that this frame is 217, right? And Group one, yeah, so this is group pickup. Group pick up. So group uh, taunt, so here we go. that's where the taunt animation ends. So what we want to do here is we want to grab the animation. So we want to select all keys, select item keys, right? And then what we want to do is we want to um, move them. So I wonder if I can just push them to this, like, like drag them, you know, I like grab them and put them here. No. Delete selected keys. So what happens if I copy the selected keys and paste them here? Does that work? Nope, that doesn't work. Object node research. Okay, no, no. Drag view frame. Let's see. So I want to maybe edit. It's so weird that I can't move them. Okay, so let me think of something. Let's copy the selected keyframes, and then let's delete the selected keyframes. Delete that one too. And then let's paste them right here. Oh, see? So did that work? But is the animation long enough? Huh. So now I have both.
Okay, so I've been able to uh, move the starting point of the pickup animation. So now what I think I need to do is basically, because I, I have man one here, or let's leave all of them, right? So man one doesn't have any animations. So I think what I would want to do is basically say uh, man one, go here, select man one, and then apply the, the pickup pose preset, right? For G8. So let's do that. Yes, I guess. Turn off these limits. So, oh, I fucked up. I wasn't supposed to do that. Oops. Uh, okay. Um, Yeah, so man one doesn't have any animations, right? So the first one I want to apply is taunt. So I made a mistake there. That's okay. It happens. So I select Genesis male. This is man one, right? So man one, this is frame zero. So go to frame one and apply the taunt. And so here's this thing. Yeah, turn off the limits. Okay, so then there's... Man 1 is doing the taunt animation, and then... Uh, where is Man 1? So man one is doing the animation up till frame 86. So in frame 87, I select man one and then apply the pickup animation. Post preset for Genesis eight. Uh, yes, say so yes. So that expands the timeline Again, this window, turn off. So now what should happen is that uh, man one has a, wow, how many frames are there now? There's 304 frames. So now man one should go from the A pose into the taunting pose and then do the pickup pose. Don't know why he moved. So it's possible that the, the pose preset I made of Genesis 8 uh, pickup, I translated the guy before. Huh. So that means I need to go back to my yeah, don't save the changes. I need to go back to my pickup pose.
I thought I saved the file. These are the post presets, but I thought I saved the actual one. Okay, so then let's open this file again. Yeah, see, the man is not at zero, zero. Hmm. So I need to redo the whole pickup file. Yeah, I need to redo the pose preset. So, so that's kind of a problem. Whoops. Okay, let me take a break. Be right back. 